What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So y'all, today we are going to be doing this very natural be nice, quick, simple, to the point. It is going to be all the way affordable and more on the minimal side. You guys are kind of just getting ready with me. It's early in the morning <laughs> and I got some things to do today. Um, tomorrow's Amir's birthday, so we got some birthday festivities going on today. So I just wanted to get ready with you guys and show you my minimal, affordable, Beat. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> so we are going in today with a drugstore beat, but it's going to be extremely minimal. For brows today, y'all, I have two... <sighs> two different options, I guess. Um, I have the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil and this is in the shade 220 Dark Brown. Not a huge fan of this, have to admit. But I also have the NYX Fill and Fluff um, Brow Pencil and this is an espresso. And I like this the most, but your girl is running out. So I'm going to attempt to use this as a base first. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the other one as backup. But I do love this one. Um, I don't like that the, what's this y'all? The tip of it. It is just not as sharp as I would like it to be. So that's one thing I don't like about it, but I do love the quality. And I love the natural look that it gives me. Most of all, I like this because I feel like this is way better than having like a spoolie on the other end. But I'm obviously already running out of this, so I'm gonna brush it out and then I'm gonna use the Revlon just to deepen us up and make it a little better of a shape. But the reason I'm not a huge fan of this Revlon one is because it comes off kind of, y'all know them like, what's it called, crazy art crayons back in the day that we would use in replacement of Crayola. Like, you remember how they used to, <laughs> how you would draw on it and it kind of like left like streaks? That's how I feel about this Revlon um, brow pencil. I think it's like a wax situation. If you go light enough with it, uh, girl, it could work, it could work out. It's not, it's not so bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Cafe to sculpt out my brows. But get this y'all, I am actually filming this on the day that you guys are going to see this only because I didn't wanna waste a full face of makeup. Tomorrow is my baby's birthday. <laughs> Amira will be 10 tomorrow. So I knew I was gonna have a full face of makeup today because we doing some stuff, you know, having a little family gathering. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and film this early, 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 early in the morning. It's around 7 a.m. So I wanted to go ahead and do this because this is the makeup I'm gonna be having on all day. For primer today, I am gonna use my Master Prime Maybelline Primer. Um, I like how this one in particular does help my oils to stay at bay. So that's really why I'm doing this because I do want this makeup to last all day. So we are not gonna be using a full coverage foundation today, y'all. We are going to use a BB cream. So Maybelline it does have BB creams and the deep, I think this is the deepest shade, but this is their BB Fresh Cream in 140 Deep sheer tint um they have this one and then they also have where did it go okay the bb pure i'm trying to think what is the difference in these okay this one has sunscreen this one does not i think it's going to be a little sunny today so i think i'm going to go ahead and use this one let me see what do i want to apply this with y'all i feel like a brush is going to give me super duper light coverage but that's kind of what i'm going for today so i'm just going to go ahead and put this all over with a brush and this brush is a sigma flat kabuki brush i do feel like this one will give us the coverage that we are looking for. Cause like I said, I'm not trying to go too, too ham with it today, but I do want a nice amount of coverage. I'm so excited to see my family today, y'all. <laughs> y'all know this pandemic is hard to see family a whole, whole lot and my mom is coming over, but oh, y'all, I forgot that I didn't actually let you guys no. So y'all, my, y'all know that I'm like a super like artistic person. I draw my mom, draws my daughter draws and stuff like that. But my mom, my beautiful, beautiful mother, <laughs> she has just come out with recently a cartoon. She has in a sense turned herself into a cartoon. So it is called The Adventures of Dr. Robin Super Shiro. It is based off of her. I will leave the link to the channel in my description box. You guys can check it out. I would love if you guys could check it out and support my mama. 
but she does a lot of like character training diversity um for children it is for kids so like you know elementary age to middle school to high school just kind of doing stories about kids and the different things that they could go through or they go through in school or bullying and self-love self-esteem um like i said diversity dealing with family blended families and you know mixed race families all of that type of stuff she does and it is an amazing <laughs> amazing thing so if you are like working in schools you work with children i feel like it would be a perfect resource for you she does come out with a video once a month so oh, really quick y'all i'm just blabbing this is my <laughs> cover girl true blend undercover concealer and this is in the shade caramel y'all know i like a lighter one so we're just going in with a little light veil of concealer today but y'all know i like to really brighten it up so we're just doing that we're not doing a whole whole lot because this is actually all the cream products that we're gonna go into it's just the bb cream and the concealer but yeah y'all like I said, um, Dr. Robin Super Shiro is based on my mom, how she looks, how she dresses. <laughs> and she does all the animation, she draws, and everything is based on her style of um, illustration. And then my sister narrates her. So <laughs> I would love for you guys to check it out and support my fam, because it's an amazing, amazing resource as well for those of you with children or who work with kids. But yeah, y'all, do y'all see how easy this this just blended out? And this is actually, I'm also to be honest, this is my first time using this concealer. Um, and I actually really like it. I wish I would've let this sit down a little bit more. But it, this one is a little olive tone versus neutral. And I'm actually gonna go in with my Cafe from Maybelline on my forehead, just because it's a little darker. And I don't like to make my forehead super, super dark, but I still want to go ahead and bring some dimension into my forehead, so. Which for me, I consider this to still be minimal, even though we are going in with concealer, we're just not putting it everywhere. So for those of you guys who don't use it in this area, that's fine. I would say just use your BB cream, throw your concealer wherever you need it and especially if it's a concealer that's not light like me y'all know i conceal to highlight and to conceal but if you conceal just to conceal like cover up your dark marks and just to conceal different places on your face that you want to cover up or make the same complexion as the rest of your face then put it where you need it the step is the concealer it's not <laughs> the you know placement that matters in this case and we are also not doing much of a a eyeshadow today if we do any so I am gonna go over my eyes with concealer as well and go ahead and set that with the rest of the face and y'all if I'm talking low Amira still sleep so <laughs> I'm trying not to be super super loud because my studio is like right across the hall from her room to set the face today we are going to go into the black radiance loose setting powder and this is more of like a skin tone type of powder the reason that I wanted to go into a deeper powder today is because we are going minimal obviously so I wanted to limit it to the minimal amount of steps. So I didn't wanna go into like a lighter powder as well as a skin tone powder. In this case, we can make the skin tone powder work for everything. So since this is a deeper kind of color, I am going in with my brush under my under eyes because I don't want it to really, you know, add a whole lot of pigment to my under eyes. So I am going in with a lighter, just like a lighter veil of it on my under eyes because I do like that more highlighted look, but I don't want it to be super Super, super dark like in those areas and then I'm gonna take a different brush and this one is from Thrive Cosmetics and I'm going to tap off that powder and just dust it everywhere else to set the face and as you can see it does give us a nice amount of coverage but I am going a little bit deeper into this and it is giving us kind of a bronzy feel because it is a darker powder but if you have a powder that you feel like might be a little too dark for your under eyes and that's the only one you have or you don't want to reach for other ones definitely make sure that you use a lighter application in the areas where you want to be lighter and you don't have to dip into multiple powders and i'm also making sure that i'm setting my eyes as well since we did go in with concealer there too but i do want to mattify this because if we leave just that wet concealer on there we're gonna be creasing up a storm 
and that is the opposite of what we want. So we are gonna use two more face products on the face. That's pretty much it. I am gonna go into the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I am going to use, we have we do have a highlight here, but um, we also have a bronzer here as well. So not really a bronzer, it's more of a contour shade. But you guys do already know that I'm a huge stickler for letting you guys know when there is like a palette where you can use it for multiple things. Y'all know that I love to do that for you guys just because um, I know a lot of you guys kind of want to just aim for one product and be able to do multiple things with it. So I am a huge, huge fan of palettes that might have more than one blush in it, more than one contour shade or bronzer shade. Um, also that includes like a highlight or something or even like duos with like br br brushes. <laughs> even like duos with like blushes and highlighter in it. Anything that has more than one use, I feel like is amazing, especially for those of us who want more of a minimal. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh yeah, get it together. <laughs> Especially for those of us who want a little bit more of a minimal look, I feel like it's a really, really a game changer. For those who want a minimal look as well as use minimal products. Save space and saves time. So obviously we use the contour shade to kind of sculpt out our face, bring that deeper dimension back into the face from covering up with the BB cream and the lighter concealer, just brings that deeper look back in. Obviously my nose is optional, but y'all know how I am. I need a little bit of a nose snatch because I feel like it balances out my face from being deeper here. And then we have the nose as well and it just, kind of just brings in those natural contours. That's the point, the natural contours of the face. It makes you look more naturally shaded. <laughs> Let's say that. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of other sculpting, you know, under the under here and all of that stuff. We're not doing that because technically it's unnecessary. I am gonna pop on a highlighter here in a moment, but I do first wanna go into a blush. And this is my Maybelline Fit Me blush. And this is in the shade Wine. And this is my Sigma Powder blush brush. And I'm gonna dip into this just a little bit, tap it off, and just add a little bit of rosiness to our cheeks today. Nice, simple, and easy. And when I say minimal today, guys, um, I feel like it is regarding steps as well as regarding the easiness of the application today. So we're not really focusing a whole lot on being super precise with things or, you know, trying to really sculpt things out. It's just more of like flushes of color, adding color in certain spots and blending it out. Like that's the vibe. Very everyday minimal-ish. Cause had I not been sitting in this camera talking the whole time, this will take me a good maybe like seven or eight minutes to do. And I feel like if you watch this video enough, <laughs> or my minimal tutorials enough, then you can come up with the perfect like early morning makeup look, you know, makeup routine, so that, you know, you don't have to leave the house barefaced and you are feeling yourself and, you know, you're feeling made up, but you don't look like you have on a whole lot of makeup, but you still get that vibe, you know? All right, y'all, so we are looking very fresh faced. Like, I don't think we're gonna do any eyeshadow. The only thing I did think about is the highlight and maybe using the highlight on our lid. What y'all think? This is very minimal. And I feel like if you're doing this in the mornings, um, maybe you ain't really worried about <laughs> doing like a highlight or doing like a eyeshadow or anything like that. I low key just wanna leave it and don't do nothing. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and do my highlight. We're gonna use a highlighter obviously in this palette and I'm just going to add a little bit on my nose, down my nose on the bridge area on the tip of my lip where my cupid's bow is. I know I always say cupid's bow. I feel like I just be talking too fast. It's a cupid, like cupid shoot an arrow, you in love type of cupid. <laughs> cupid's bow. And maybe a little bit in our inner tear up. And I think that's it. I don't even think I wanna highlight my brows. And that's it y'all. So now we are just gonna pop one mascara in my eyes. Mascara is lashes. <laughs> I do have this eyelash vault, which is from ColourPop, and it's their eight piece faux mink lash kit. Um, I'm taking the ones that were down here in the corner. Babette is the style, and I'm just gonna pop these on. Now I am gonna go in with my INV Lash Glue Liner, and this one is a clear one. 
and this is drugstore. You can mostly find I Envy in like the beauty supply store mostly, like with LA Girl. But I'm just literally putting this, why am I doing this so far away y'all, come on. <laughs> I am putting this literally right at my lash line. Not at the top of the lid because obviously it's not a liner, it's not black. They do have this in black though, but I'm using it in clear. That way we can literally just stick the lash right on top of that glue. And I obviously forgot to do my lash mascara underneath. You see how you can see my lash underneath my falsies? That's what we do not want. I am gonna take my Sky High mascara, which is from Maybelline. I'm gonna fix that on this side, probably reapply the other one too. But this helps your lashes to blend in with your falsies. I'm gonna redo this one, but do you see the difference as far as how it blends? It's much, much better. And then I'm gonna hit the bottom lash line with the Sky High mascara, and we are pretty Pretty much done with our eyes and face. So before we pop on a lip, I am gonna go ahead and set my face and this is my Milani Make It Last Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna spritz my face. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> and this is a <laughs> matte setting spray. So if you're dealing with oils or you know, that's your struggle where your oils come out on your makeup, then this is a good option. All right, y'all, all we need now is a lip. I have been loving the, matter of fact, let me not screw up the name and actually grab it. Hold up. So y'all, my niece is my assistant. She came over and organized <laughs> some of my lip products and this is all of my glosses. These are all the glosses we got, sis. This is actually, I think, one of two. <laughs> bands of lip glosses. I wanted to wear this lifter gloss from Maybelline and this has been compared to the gloss bombs from Fenty. So this shade is in brass. I don't know, I think like, I feel like this one might give us more of a metallic-y feel versus, yeah. Y'all see that? Mm. I was about to say I feel like this is more of a topper versus like an everyday lip gloss, but that actually doesn't look too bad. Hmm. But we're doing minimal. I really wanted to just go in with like one product. Unfortunately, right now, glosses don't make a lot of sense with our mask. And this one is the gloss from Revlon. Yeah, apparently this is becoming a thing of me not knowing what lip I wanna do. <laughs> this one is in Coco Crush. And this is also cute for every day, but especially in the winter time, but I don't think this is the vibe today either. It does match my shirt though. <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna go ahead in with a gloss today, guys. Um, I was trying to find a lip that, you know, I could just throw on similar to like our minted lipsticks where it's a perfect like nude shade. But as I've been looking through my stash, I have not found a really, really good option for that. So we are gonna go ahead with a gloss today if I can open it. So this is the <laughs> super lustrous, the gloss from a Revlon and this is in the shade Blissed Out, which is kind of just giving us a glossy feel of our blush. Low key, but it's just very neutral, natural, you know, on the go <laughs> type of thing. And I'm feeling this. I feel like it's just very perfect for the day and what I have planned for today. Of course, I am going to be putting on a mask, so I'm not too crazy about the lip choice that we got today. I'm going to zoom in. You guys can see the finished look and let's wrap this up. All right, y'all. So this is our finished look, sis. We got the ponytail. We got the natural, everyday, affordable beat. This is how my makeup will be looking all day today. So as you are watching this video on Sunday, this is how Maya is looking. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Maybe you found a product or two that you like that you might want to go and pick up at the drugstore. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. Also, make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.